Davies, Craig Davies sharing that car with Darren Turner in the red Mustang. On the far left, as you see it, will start on pole alongside it, Martin Whitaker Jr. Then it'll be Mark Matheson. Good start, though, uh, from Davies and Matheson. Poor start from Whitaker in the middle. It looks like everybody just about got away. A slow starter at the back, but through into turn one as they make their way through Madrick. Davies with the initial grunt off the line in the all red number nine car. The pole sitter holding force at the top. Then comes Mark Matheson behind in the 116. Whitaker Jr. Plummeting down the order after a poor start. And as they make their way through, trying to find every inch of track, it is Davies who leads the way. Yeah, good, good. There's a bit of jostling and a bit of door rubbing in the middle of the pack there. But everyone's got a lovely clean start and incredible view from our drone out there at St. Mary's. A little bit of door rubbing. They're just giving each other some room. Remember, this is a 45-minute race. So uh, you can't win the race uh, on the first lap, but you can certainly lose it. The 166 car going round the outside. That will be James Thorpe making his way through further back uh, in the pack, battling uh, over fifth position in that Mustang. I think just about winning out on that occasion, but Mustangs everywhere you look. And this uh, on board uh, with one of our cars, possibly the number 56 uh, car further back in the pack. Uh, Anthony Yule on uh, in the car for that one will hand over uh, to Jamie Chadwick later on. But coming to the end then of lap one around this Goodwood track for the Ken Miles Cup, the old Mustang race and off in the background one of the cars fighting the grass but across the line to lead it will be Davies then comes Shepard then Whittaker who managed to stabilize in third then after a tough start Priu and Taylor that car uh, being uh, driven whereby Andy Priu making the start in the number 99 rounding up the top four Alex Buncombe holding on to a top five position poor start for Mark Matheson who was in third, and actually has fallen down through the pack all of a sudden. Mark Matheson being swallowed up, he's fallen all the way down into ninth spot. But out in front there, it is looking tricky for Davies to hold on to this. In fact, he hasn't held on to it. He's lost the lead then as Shepard makes his way right up behind him. But an issue, a Mustang going slowly, the DCS Motorsport branded Mustang pulls to the side of the road. And everywhere you look, that will be two Mustangs going side by side. The number 15 Mustang of Alex Buncombe currently in fifth spot, trying to keep that position from James Thorpe behind. Holds on to it for the time being. Yeah, Fred got a nice run out of the final chicane. Storm through down the inside and just having a little look at the sector times there is eking himself away from Davis in the second place. But we do have the safety car has come out. So I wonder if it is because of that stranded Ford in uh, what looked like hard to see. It looked like one of the early corners either at the exit of Madwick. But uh, safety car is out to slow the pack down in order to recover the car but we're going to have a little look at the start harry and look at that from the outside there was that a false start looks all right from my point of view uh, it's hard with the flags because uh, you're keeping an eye on the flag and when it drops that's when you can be released and look at the tire smoke pouring off the back of these cars and there we are any oh that's that's as that, close I mean, as you want to get i think the mirrors might have been brushed in ever so slightly the 49, the Andrew Jordan and Whitaker Jr. car, which uh, sank a little bit through the pack. But here was that overtake down the inside into turn one by Fred Shepard in the number 47. Lovely move. Shepard then leads this race. He'll hand that car over to Timo Bernhard after 15 minutes or so. This is a two driver race. Points up for grabs for both drivers, regardless of house. But after two laps, then safety car out. So uh, the car that pulled to the side, I believe that might well have been the 616 car uh, with uh, Adrian at the wheel, Sam Adrian's sharing that car with Jochen Mass. So we might unfortunately not see Jochen Mass get a go in that uh, during this race as uh, that is the car that has plumped to the bottom. And that is the reason it pulled over to the side. So potential mechanical issues then for the Jochen Mass car with 
Sam Adrian's at the wheel of that 1965 Ford Mustang, and that is the reason why we are currently under safety car conditions. Shepard leading, Davey second, Andy Priu rounding out the top three. This is on board with Andrew Yule, further back in the pack, started down in 22nd, and you get away, and all you get a face full of is Mustang. That's why I was having a little bit of a chuckle there. I was just thinking, look at the sea of Mustangs. We spoke to Andrew, didn't we, yesterday, uh, who was in the, 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 the paddock after doing the qualifying practice, saying this is a slightly heavier Mustang than some of the others. Uh, maybe that is one of the reasons why it didn't quite get away off the line, as he would have he wished. But uh, he'll be hoping to try and make some place sharing that car with Jamie Chadwick. They're down in 23rd place at the moment. But uh, several drivers opting to not necessarily get too much temperature into their tyres. Some opting to in continue to increase tyre temperature by... Uh, weaving down the straight. So safety car is still out at the moment. No sign of it coming in just yet. Well, the leading car then is the number 47, 1965 Ford Mustang. Bill, uh, Fred Shepard at the wheel. He'll hand that over to Timo Bernhard later on. That car in the uh, 1964 rally livery that it competed in. Smallest engine car that Fred Shepard has ever raced at Goodwood. Well, that's not holding him back at the moment. Managed to take the lead just before the safety car came out from uh, the number nine car that's currently being driven by Craig Davies. He'll then hand it over to Darren Turner, the three-time Le Mans winner. Uh, that car, though, the number nine, currently in second, then a genuine Alan Mann Mustang raced by Alan Mann himself in his last race. So Craig Davies was speaking yesterday during practice qualifying. What an honour it was to be a part and race and sit in that car. Uh, previous winner at Goodwood uh, and a much-loved car by, uh, by everyone involved in that. Currently, in second uh, as we're currently under safety car conditions andy priu of course uh, the albany house captain double points you score if you're a house captain currently in third in front of alex Buncombe and uh whitaker jr rounding out the top five and uh, casually waiting in the pit lane ash sutton who'll be wanting to get in that number 14 car who he shares that with Bo parry who's currently out there at the moment in that number 14 car who started, well, right at the back, now up into 28th position. Lights are off then on the Porsche safety car, and we're about to get racing again, Alice. Yes, we are, and we're hit once again here a thunder of these incredible Mustangs roar down the main straight. As I can see the leaders now at my commentary box window peeling into the chicane. Fred leading the way, and he's on the gas already. Look at him working nice and hard. Some tyre smoke coming out the back there on the exit of the chicane. Gets a pretty decent start as he's got a nice little gap already over the car behind. Seven tenths of a second to be precise. And a decent start, but look out for Prio in the background in the yellow Mustang having a little look all over the back of the number nine in second place. Is he going to get a decent run? He's going to head down out of Madrid into Ford Water now. Not really an overtaking spot. If you're brave enough, though, and we've seen it several times over the weekend, Gordon Shedden springs to mind. You can dive down the inside of St. Mary's, but it just looks like Prio is a little bit too far away to, to try and move like that at the moment. Oh, look at how much he controls the slide in every corner for Andy Prio in the all-yellow 99 Mustang, chasing down the number nine red Mustang of Davies looking to the left, looking to the right. Which way does Prio pick in the end? He has to settle to stay behind. Davies placing that Mustang in all the right places. And while they do battle, that's allowing Fred Shepard to eke out the gap up the road in the lead, but not by much. They're still all within a couple of seconds of each other. Alex Bunker, a couple of seconds behind this gaggle in fourth, uh, and he himself is involved in a nice battle with uh, Martin Whittaker for that top five position as it currently stands. Side-by-side -side action in these early stages. It's Fred Shepard who leads after the safety car. Davies in that red Mustang started on pole, just about keeping in front of Andy oh. Prio, but Prio with the stepping out right on the rear of that Mustang out of the final corner coming across the line we'll have the outside coming into Madrid 
Will he dive down the inside right at the last minute? Yes, he will. Prio to the inside, but he's not close enough in front to make it work on that occasion. Davies holding out in front, and they're bringing Alex Buncombe along for the ride as well. I took the word straight out of my mouth there, Harry. Alex Buncombe now is at the back of this pack of cars, and of course, that gives Andy Prius drive even harder. He's not only got to look and try and attack forward, but he's also got to keep a close eye in the back of his mirrors as he tickles the inside curve there at St. Mary's. And look at this view. Look how sideways Prio is all over the back of Davis's red Mustang. Goes. Is he going to have a look down the inside? No, not quite close enough to go down the inside of Levant and will come out this long, long Levant corner. And Bunkum really is there in the party now, isn't he? As they're heading all the way up Levant straight. And Alex Bunkum is... Uh, he could try and make a move here down the inside of Woodcut, maybe a little bit too far away. Just looks like uh, Prio's Mustang quite hasn't got the legs down the straight compared to that of Davis's Mustang. But look at this beautiful shot of these three Mustangs and then the rest of them heading through now and into the chicane. Alex Bunker, an esteemed racing driver, hunting down a multiple British touring car champion in the form of Andy Prio, hunting down Craig Davies in the red Mustang as they come across the line. Six laps completed in the yellow Mustang. Sandy Prio side by side, coming through Madwick. Can he hold it? The Mustangs door to door, stepping out, sliding the rear for Davies, keeping his foot in it, holding forth, so much pressure, going up against a driver like Andy Priu, Priu in the yellow 99 Mustang, bringing Alex Buncombe in the 15 along for the ride as we're well. Get, are we going to get three wide, Harry? Looks, oh, just so close, sorry, going into St Mary's there, Buncombe goes, thank you very much, the typical junior karting style, oh, Andy Priu opened the door and that, Alex Buncombe said, thank you very much, I'll come through too. And that has now allowed the rest of them behind. Whitaker Jr., Thorpe and even Brabham to Kai try and close the gap to this, uh, this battle. Well, let's take a look. This is a little bit further in the pack. A little bit of a moment for one of the Mustangs uh, further back. Just trying to make out who that is. Um, might have been uh, Davenport, possibly. He's just lost a position down to uh, 11. Uh, so, uh, right, that battle has been settled for the time being. It's still Fred Shepard out in front by almost two and a half seconds. Uh, then comes Andy Prio. Here he is, coming out of the final chicane. Now that he and Alex Buncombe behind have displaced Davies, they've kind of escaped up the road a bit, and Davies proving to be a little bit of the cork in the bottle with Whitaker and Brabham right behind. Car off, though. That is the 193 of his railson sharing that car uh, with uh, Stig Blomquist, which is such a shame. We won't get to see the rally icon race that car. Stig Blomquist sharing that with Victor Israelson. A problem there for the 193, but pulls off nicely into the grass. Yeah, and let's see if we can catch any sort of replay while we're having a look. Oh, a bit of contact further down the pack. Struggling to see who that might have been, but uh, all managing to... Near enough, keep it on the road, keep it out of the tie barriers at least. Frenetic stuff. Take a breather, everybody. It's going to heat up, don't you worry. Uh, this uh, race will be having an extra five minutes added to it, uh, but the pit lane window uh, will still open at the same time and will last the same length of time. So that's not changing in terms of when driver changes are allowed to take place, but we are going to get an extra five minutes of racing action uh, so let's uh, well hope they're all fueled up for an extra five minutes of action as well because that could prove a little bit sticky in the closing stages yeah that, that certainly can i'm sure why they're, they're adding five minutes you never usually hear something like that but of course they did have a period of time under safety car so wouldn't have been burning nowhere near as much full fuel compared to them if they were going flat out but this battle continues to rage and it's bringing in everybody else behind yeah, so Trio and Buncombe got through on Davies. They've started to extend their gap a bit, but not by much. Fred Shepard now with a four and a half second gap at the moment. Uh, further back in the pack, this on board with uh, the Yule car, the 56 car of uh, uh, 
and Andrew Yule currently sharing that with Jamie Chadwick down in 22nd position at the moment coming into the chicane brilliant on board we can just see how hard he's got to work the rear of that Mustang to keep it pointing in a straight line it just looks like as soon as it turns in the rear just wants to come on round and uh, getting those gear changes absolutely spot on as he heads down the straight we're looking at the rear now of the car through turn one Madwick corner and you can see almost snaking around almost makes you feel like a little bit car sick doesn't it that view uh, pit lane will open in five minutes so it's open now apologies pit lane window is open now as it pops up onto our timing screen so who will blink first and switch over drivers this a two driver race and at the moment, leading is Fred Shepard, then is Andy Prio in the yellow 99 Mustang. And there's going to be a little bit of traffic there. The 184 having to clatter the barriers of Van Thiel to get out of the way. No one biting to the pit lane just yet. A round to go uh, we get for uh, nine laps completed. Prio second, Buncombe third. Then comes Davies in the red Mustang making his way through. Whitaker in fifth, being hunted down by the number 10 Mustang. It's David Brown at the wheel of that he'll hand it over to Alex Brundle uh, Brabham though currently ringing that up into six he started down in ten then comes the uh, 166 car that's currently got James Thorpe at the wheel then the number six car is behind uh, that is currently in eighth spot with uh, Haddon at the wheel of that side by side action though Whitaker trying to keep hold of his position the number ten of Brabham behind, try, oh, in front, trying to defend. Battle for fifth and sixth as it currently stands. It's Brabham in, in front in the number 10, then 49 of Whitaker now behind. So this fifth and sixth battle scrapping over the last lap or so. So our first few cars are entering pit lane to make their driver changes. And you can see it gets quite busy down there. That's the Oliver Webb car, so he'll be jumping in. We've got the Rundle and Ingram car in as well, and Ingram will be hopping in. So you'll expect those that have the pro driver starting the race, or started the race, will stay out as long as possible. And those that maybe have the AM driver will, uh, will hop in as soon as they can um, so uh, yes the the pro will get in and the pro that's out there will, will, will stay out so I can't I, I'd be amazed if we'll see uh, Shepard hop in uh, sorry Shepard hop out and Bernard get in because Fred obviously he's well known around this circuit knows how to, to drive pretty much any car fast around this Goodwood circuit, taking many wins here as well, very experienced driver. So even though we could say you've technically got two pros in that number 47, Fred is a much more equipped with this type of machinery. So split strategies then when it comes to if you're starting with your pro or you uh, switch over to your pro, what are those key differences? Essentially, it comes to, well, when do you want to be faster at the start or at the end? Well, yeah, and it could be, could be depending on uh, who you've got around you as well. As we saw Andrew Yule give the thumbs up there, so I'm guessing he'll be popping in at some point. Uh, the pits at the end of this lap, I'm guessing, due to that thumbs up. But uh, with the battle here for second, getting hotter and hotter, Harry. Certainly is. Andy uh, Priu still out there in the 99 in the yellow battling off Alex Bunker and they've been going at this for the last few laps into the chicane fire erupting from the exhaust of Prio as they come across the line they're going to stay out as long as possible Andy Prio sharing that car the 99 with Trevor Taylor and Alex Bunker in the 15 sharing that car with Richard Taffender so electing to have those two drivers stay out a lot longer into this race if they can before they switch over to their less experienced rivals uh, we're thinking this might well be gordon shedden coming in to uh, the pits and uh, changing over drivers nice quick pit stop tricky this though it's uh, driver change pit stop is always difficult never smooth no and 
I mentioned it yesterday. People often say, well, how come the drivers don't strap themselves in? It's a bit lazy of them. Trust me, it's so hard to strap yourself in, uh, in, in a race car, especially with the restriction view of the, the helmet and restriction of the hands device. This is the Yule car now. Keep an eye out for him peeling to the right at some point. Really hard in this tight and narrow pit lane and busy pit lane to spot out your team. Jamie Chadwick will now hop into that car. So let's see if we stay on board. Undoes the belt, puts it into neutral, hops out. Doesn't need to take that steering wheel off. Jamie will put her seat insert in. She is a little bit smaller in height compared to, to Andrew. So there we go. Jamie won't mind me saying she's got a booster seat. Well, they, are, uh, they are swapping steering wheels. So maybe there's a different boss on that steering wheel which just allows it to be ever slightly closer for, for Jamie there. But it looks like they're having a little bit of a struggle. Jamie is actually... Uh, Starting, of course, to strap herself in. She has done a little bit of during race, endurance racing before in British GT, of course, many moons ago. But uh, a smooth pit stop, it looks like, apart from the steering, steering wheel so far. Top three drivers still not coming through the pits there. It's Fred Shepard who leads in the number 47 Mustang. But this is the battle that is raging on. It's Andy Priu in the number 99 yellow Mustang fighting off Alex Bunker in third in the number 15 Mustang. They are electing not to come into the pits just yet as they make their way around for another lap. Just under half an hour left off this race. The pit window is open, uh, but driver changes are taking place as it currently stands. I'll tell you who's made up uh, a lot of places, hasn't come into the pits just yet. Uh, it's Mr. Le Mans himself, Tom Christensen, started down in 24th. With pit stops occurring for others, he's managed to get up into ninth spot. So the nine-time Le Mans winner trying to stay out as long as possible, try and gain some time and positions on track. Uh, meanwhile, Fred Shepard not giving up as he fires himself out of the chicane. Last time around, set his fastest lap, so he is still pushing in that number 47 Mustang. Freer across the line, holds second. Bunkham in tow right behind him as they head off through Madwick. Then currently in fourth is the uh, 65 car now uh, having had uh, some pit stops that has made its way uh, up to the front and that's uh, currently being driven by uh, Thistleweight who hasn't come into the pits just yet or as I say that has just come into the pits uh, so uh, the highest uh, pit stopper at the moment making their way through as it currently stands 27 minutes remain Andrew Jordan looking quick now that he's in the car, having taken over from Martin Whittaker. Down at 11th, just gone fastest of anybody in the first sector. Looking to carve his way through the field. Prio and Bunkham still battling hard. And the top seven in this race at the moment have yet to pit as we try and jostle for position here. Three Mustangs going almost three wide headed up by the 777 mustang of guy zizer further back in the back of ollie webb i should say who has now got into that car who's a little bit of traffic then making their way through it's andrew jordan the 49 that was trying to make his way through looking incredibly quick as he tries to carve his way through the field this the race leader fred shepherd you saw there a moment ago back then Ollie Webb in the 777 just behind now the 49 that is Andrew Jordan the highest of the pit stoppers so far who have changed drivers currently in eighth on the road now has displaced the traffic and has a bit of clean air in front of him yeah he does and that's what you will end up seeing is the pro drivers who uh, may have the sort of the, the am the slightly slower driver possibly who started the race who would have dropped down from their original position. They'll be starting to move up. And this looks like a bit of swapsies there and contact for our, our race leader. Oh, and that is the thing. You will, we will see the race leader come across quite a bit of traffic. And as we've seen in previous races throughout today and here at Goodwood in the previous years, traffic can really play a part. Yeah, that was contact with uh, Anthony Reid, the uh, touring car driver from uh, the British touring car drivers from the, the late 90s, early noughties, 15 wins, uh, former house captain for Methuen. 
currently in that car. Started down in 12th, looking to make his way up through the field. Now having pitted, Shepard actually in that car now. Down in 15th, looking to make their way through. So, looks like Fred might have just got that inboard. Um, may not have been, but there was a new, an inboard and a Fred on it. So we may see the lead car come into the pits. We've got the Buncom car now, which has come in. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on those that may be diving into the pits that certainly at, at the front Alex Bunken is one of those but here looking now uh, the number 49 Andrew Jordan a previous race winner around this Goodwood circuit hustling his Ford Mustang 25 minutes to go then and getting up to 133 on the straight. Andrew Jordan setting the timings alight. He's absolutely a man on a mission. Currently in seventh, second highest of the pit stoppers. We're yet to see, though, Alex Buncom, who hands over to Taffender, where they will appear in that number 15 car. They were in the battle for second and third. How quickly can Andrew Jordan make his way through the pack can he jump the bunk and tap in the car he can he absolutely can andrew jordan through Buncombe and the tap in the car have yet to appear out of the pits so the top two yet to pit fred shepherd out in front in the 47 waiting to hand that over to and uh, to timo bernard andy priu still in the 99 currently in second then luke davenport in third here we go then, 24 minutes left of this race, and Fred Shepard has cried enough, and he comes into the pits, waiting to hand that 47 car over to Timo Bernhard. Here we go. So they'll both be used to having to make changes in these cars. Had to do it yesterday in the Gordon Spice Trophy. Out slides Fred, in goes Timo. Great effort from Fred, Fred Shepard, has to be said. Yeah, he's opened a nice lead, didn't he, compared setting... Well, it was fastest lap of the race until that was snatched away by Andrew Jordan. As the mechanic quickly as he can straps in Timo. Fred giving a few words of advice and maybe how the car is handling. And that could just be the sign as uh, go, go, go. Push as hard as you can from Fred there. They have got a minimum pit stop time. So that's why he's been held there to wait. But out he goes now. A nice clean stop. The initial leader then of this race, pitted, Fred Shepard at the wheel, now out of the car, hands it over to the Porsche sports car endurance ace, Timo Bernhard, now at the wheel. But I tell you what, they are all going to be fearing Andrew Jordan in that 49 Mustang, carving his way through the field, now up into fifth, fastest lap last time around. Getting up to, up to 133 on the speed trap as well. Let's see. I think Bernhardt came out just in front of Jordan, but it's going to be a little bit slower. Cold at tyres compared to Andrew Jordan. Andy Prue still leads this race in the yellow Mustang. That is your leader there. Has yet to come in. Decided, no, he's going to have another lap around. 17 laps completed. Then comes the number 45 car. That has got Luke Davenport at the wheel, starts way back in 19th, holding out for as long as he can before he hands it over to another British touring car ace, Matt Neal, waiting in the pits to take over that one. Then currently in third, the top three, yet to spot, uh, yet to stop, is the 42 car. That's got Neil Yarny at the wheel, another Porsche works driver from years gone by, an endurance winner, a Le Mans winner, currently wringing the neck of that Mustang, rounds out the top three. Then it's Timo Bernhard, who has pitted, as I think Luke Davenport has finally called it quits and come into the pits as well to hand over that car to Matt Neal. Yeah, Darren Turner has just set the fastest of anybody in the first sector. So now we are getting a few more of these pro drivers coming in and a little bit of a wobble as maybe is the exhaust slightly broken there on the Ash Sutton car. He, of course, was a winner yesterday in the Gordon Spice Trophy. That's the number 14 running wide. I think that's Sutton wide. in that car now. Yeah, it is Sutton in, in the car. As here on board, we see Prio spitting flames out the back of his 99. And I expect he will be hopping into the pits very soon. But the Jordan car is continuing to light up the timing screen. Fastest lap of the race so far, but in comes Prio. Andy Prio into the pits then. 
the house captain for the Albany team this year, Albany house this year. Oh, and there's a little bit of damage to that front right ahead, like one of the uh, mechanics just seeing to it and knocking it off a little bit more. And now I think it's been fixed back off. Andy Prew then with a mighty stint will hand that uh, 47 car over to... Oh, oh no, no, there's a... Uh, uh, queue in the pit lane with the door, the 189. From it was the photographer back the that was stood in the way, actually oh, trying to take no, some it is, photos. It is a tight pit lane here, isn't it? But let's keep an eye out for Andrew Jordan, who is on track at the moment in the 49, setting the sector times alight, currently up into third. So he has already gained spots. Timo Bernard now coming into second. And out then goes Taylor, having taken over from Priu in the uh, uh, 99 car. And he comes then into an absolute field of Mustangs and a change to the leader. He's done it just about. Andrew Jordan takes the lead of this race on the uh, this lap around. Fantastic work. 18 laps. Andrew Jordan has been piling in the sector time since he took over the car from Whitaker. Priu handed that car over in the lead. Taylor back in it. Feeds out in second. Then third place. Now Timo Bernhard. Yeah, Andrew Jordan has got the fastest lap by uh, a couple of tenths. And the next challenger in terms of lap time pace, which is the Davis and Turner car. So uh, Andrew Jordan has done a great job as he still navigates uh, some traffic. And that is going to continue for the rest of this race as we still wait a few more cars. The Brabham and Brundle cars in fifth place, but yet to to pit so Alex Brundle who we previously saw in the previous race yep. he'll be hopping into the car very soon I'm sure quick turnaround for Brundle <laughs> making his way through pit window though is now closed so for those who haven't pitted which is that Brabham Brundle car the number 10 Brabham's still in that car they've missed the window along with those further back Tom Christensen Oh, no, I think he... Ooh, well, Tom Christensen was higher up, so I wonder if he has come into the pits or not. But according to our screens, Brundle and Brabham Carr has not pitted. Have they missed the window? Well, yesterday we did have an issue with the timing screen when it thought that uh, Sutton hadn't pitted. The Gordon Spice saw through us ever so slightly, but I remember seeing him in the pits. So uh, maybe the, the Brabham and Brundle has pitted, and we've just not seen it... Uh, on the TV screen, the timer screen, get it wrong, but uh, we'll try and find out. We're back on board now as we've got oh. a spinner, the number 75 that's down in 12th. That's the Reed and other Shepherd card. Murray Shepherd now at the wheel of that 75. I've been taking over from uh, Anthony Reed. They're down now. We've just lost out to uh, Huff's gone through. Rob Huff, so has uh, uh, Marino. Frankie D, and they're right into the back, almost clouding the rear of Andy Priu. Gordon Shedden, I think we're hearing he's already hit him once this lap, so Shedden is not waiting around. Andy Priu was in that car, it's now Taylor in that car. This is the battle currently for fourth and fifth. It's Andrew Jordan who leads this race from Timo Bernard. Then comes Darren Turner and it's another hit onto the grass, sliding left and right into the braking zone. Can he hold it? Can he get the position? Yes, he can. Superb work from the 166 car, fighting it out in that uh, run-up with Gordon Shedden at the wheel. Oh, and out of the final corner as well. There's the Brabham car we've been talking about, fighting as well now with Taylor. Brabham's still at the wheel of that car making his way through the right-hander. So there's been a few hits we're hearing. Shedden hitting into the back the oh. first time around, coming through into the chicane, followed by a couple more. <laughs> well, and look at that oversteer on the exit. Gordon Shedden, though, take a bow into Woodcut. Uh, RIP to the 150-metre board sign, because I don't think that exists anymore heading into Woodcut Corner, so that may throw up a few people's references, but he was desperate, wasn't he, to to get past and make his way further up the order. But, uh, yeah, this, uh, this is not disappointing so far, is it? This uh, incredible Ken Miles Cup with these four Mustangs and, of course, with some incredible drivers of all different categories. And I believe Ed is somewhere down in pit lane.
I am indeed. Thank you, Andy. What I mean, what a cracking first in. Oh, it was great fun. I mean, I knew this Ken Miles Trophy was going to be special. Um, got really exciting, actually, with traffic and uh, had a great race. Um, managed to get it up to second and then obviously when Timo boxed, we, uh, we took the lead. But really good fun, really nice racing. Uh, you used to be watching a, a fellow touring car driver give your car a bit of rough and tumble. Yeah, I mean, we would call that a love tap, you know, in uh, touring car racing. Um, obviously, uh, this is classic racing, so you've got to be a little bit careful. But it, anyway, we're all OK. We're on, on track and uh, Alex is now in the car and let's see what we can do. Got to ask us before you go, how are the house points? Um, do you want to ask another question? <laughs> no, really, I, I, I thought you said you were going to win. Um, yeah, I've, it's not through lack of trying, and everyone loves a trier, but Obeni is on, P, unfortunately, P4. So, um, anyway, guys, on the circuit here, we need help. I need everything this afternoon to be thrown at it. Ferret racing, laser, laser clay pigeon shooting, tug of war at 4 o'clock. Let's get involved and get those points up. Well done, Andy. Enjoy the rest of the race. <laughs> Andy Preeu there, the house captain for Albany team, and we've got a car in the wall at the chicane. It's the number 14 Mustang Ash with Sutton. Ash Sutton at the wheel, who's found the chicane facing the wrong way. Yellow flag, everyone being instructed to straight line it, and that uh, is surely going to bring out, uh, well, possibly a, a safety car. Double yellows uh, being held at the moment, and the marshal's doing an excellent job of directing uh, where all the cars need to go. But 21 laps in there, and Ash Sutton finds the barrier. We haven't seen quite the build-up to how it happened. Leading this race is Andrew Jordan in the 49 Mustang. Then in second, it's Darren Turner in the number nine. Then it's Timo Bernhard in third. Gordon Shedden currently in fourth after bumping and bruising his way through at the top five. Currently rounded out by David Brabham, but... We believe that car, the number 10 Mustang, hasn't come into the pits yet, sharing it with Alex Brundle. The pit lane has closed, so we'll see how that one plays out. Then comes Taylor, uh, then the uh, the rest of the top 10, currently rounded out by Rob Huff. Oh, and all over the back. Oh, uh, this is the uh, number 116 car on board, getting oh so close, shedded at the wheel, absolutely wringing the neck off that Mustang. Through he goes on the 47, getting through and up, through and past Timo Bernhard for third. I think that was a move for position there. So fantastic. Shedden is not waiting around. Cuts down the inside of a bit of traffic for the 15. That's Alex Buncombe. That's the Alex Buncombe car who was uh, handed over. Ash Sutton out of the car. And that was the car facing the wrong way into the barriers at the chicane. There it is, the stricken 14 Mustang. I wonder, has there been contact with another car? I think we're about to see how it happened. Coming into the chicane, there's a lot of rear end on that Mustang. Yeah, and I think it has moved. Let's have a look. The barriers across. And I mean, the Daffodils got a great view, didn't they? <laughs> Uh, and until they, they didn't, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> scattered now all over the floor. And yeah, that has moved the uh, the barrier and oh, just managing to miss. There was the number 70 car. 79, I think that's Marino 79 car at the wheel of and that. And we have got the safety car out, which I expected because they were all, of course, having to cut the chicane. The marshals looking out the commentary box window are doing an incredible job, as always, to move the car. Rob Huff has just set the fastest lap of the race. And uh, you can tell that Gordon Shedden is a touring car driver because he's uh, he's spending a lot of time clipping the inside, I say clipping, driving on the inside of the, the grass there at many of the corners and still managing to keep it under control. Uh, so update from the pit lane that we can bring you. We were wondering, because on our screens, it doesn't say they pitted, but that number 10, Mustang shared with David Brabham and Alex Brundle has indeed come into the pits. Brabham has done his stint. Brundle now at the wheel of that Mustang and uh, doing a good effort in, in the top five, having started down in 10th. So that Mustang then up into fifth. 
Uh, so, uh, and we've got a few other random numbers going on on our board, and I've, I've lost trust in it. So uh, we're going to go with Andrew Jordan, who leads this race. Then comes Darren Turner in second, uh, Gordon Shedden, who has uh, absolutely been getting elbows out. I just made a move on Timo Bernhard up into uh, third spot. But uh, with Ash Sutton having uh, that collision in the final chicane, initially a yellow flag, and that has now brought out the safety car. Yep, so we've already had one safety car. We now have another as the race leader, Andrew Jordan, continues to try and, and get temperature into his tyres. So now we've all got the field bunching up and it doesn't look like there's really any traffic between at least the top couple of cars. Uh, looking at the best lap times, just to give you a rough idea what we could expect and how close they will be, Andrew Jordan's best lap was a 128.631. Darren Turner in second place, a 128.864. And then Gordon Shedden, who's uh, made his way all the way back up on, into podium positions. Previous lap was his fastest, a 127.9. So uh, that's going to be a really nice close battle, I'm expecting, between this these front three, front four, five, and also don't rule out, of course, Rob Huck, who's slightly further down the order, who's currently in 10th place, but uh, has fastest lap of the race so far with a 127.677. Yeah, Rob Huff uh, making the moves at the moment in that 116 uh, Mustang, uh, which uh, started a little further back. Actually, no, it didn't start in third. Uh, so uh, now it was Mark Matt Matson at the wheel initially, handed over to Rob Huff, the 2012 World Touring Car champion who loves it and any, anything American he absolutely loves. I remember last year he was weight racing a, a Mustang, a different uh, era Mustang and absolutely wringing the neck of it. Just has an affinity and a way with them that uh, elevates others. So uh, Huff then, watch out for him when we get uh, this back underway because really we've just seen them putting some final touches uh, to that barrier and the marshals we're just having a look out of our conjures they are now walking away from the track the daffodils have been replaced you'll be pleased to hear oh that which must mean we, were, we will be able to go racing sooner rather than later and it will be a bit of a sprint finish and that's incre how incredible the marshals are they've done that so quickly even had chance to put the daffodils back so uh well, oh, well not uh, all of them Oh, no. Those that didn't quite make it. Terrible uh, scenes. But will be remembered, I'm sure. Uh, that is what remains of the chicane. Ash Sutton was the cause for that. Now out of this race, which is a shame for the touring car. Ace, lights are out on the top for the Porsche safety car, which will peel away and come back into the pits. And it will be Andrew Jordan who will lead this race. Eight minutes of flat out. Mustang racing for the Ken Miles Cup, celebrating the 60th anniversary of the Ford Mustang. Ooh. One stricken Mustang in the background, the remainder making their way down the start finish straight now. And it's a good start, good restart for Andrew Jordan, who's got a jump on the field. Darren Turner and Gordon Shedden neck and neck coming through, through Madrick. It's Gordon Shedden chasing down Darren Turner. Then comes uh, the uh, uh, Brundle car as well, which is just tucked in uh, behind the red Mustang behind. But this is the closest battle between second and third. Brundle making his way through further back up into fourth getting through on a little bit of traffic. So it's John who leads, then comes uh, Darren Turner, then Gordon Shedden, then Brundle. That is the top four as it currently stands. This battle just behind with Timo Bernhard in the 47, currently in fifth, battling uh, with uh, uh, Taylor in the yellow 99 car. That is the battle for fifth and sixth that currently stands. But this is second and third on the road at the moment. Darren Turner ahead of the number nine, Shedden behind in the 166, not afraid to do a bit of bump drafting in these Mustangs and get his way through. And while they do battle, that will bring Brundle into the fight for the final step on the podium. Yeah, it certainly will. And Rob Huff, of course, is making his way back up towards the front end of the field. Got a few more cars to try and navigate first, but what a start from Andrew Jordan. He even kicked up, casually kicked up some dust on the exit there, just looking out of the commentary box window. Got a decent gap, but Darren Turner's managed to sort himself out now because he has pulled ever so slightly a gap from Gordon Shedden. And 
but that Alex Brundle in the Brustang has just set a great middle sector and he is he could if he keeps up this pace be quite quickly on the back of Gordon Shedden across the line then six minutes remain of this race great battle in uh, the middle of this pack this over the uh, final points paying positions but we're looking at the 116 car the cream car with the black bonnet that's Rob Huff at the wheel who is quick and he is carving his way through next up on his list will be Tom Ingram and then Frank Eaty. so a couple of big names squabbling it out for 8th 9th and 10th as it currently stands you don't know where to look at the moment, do we? There's battles all oh, along. Oh, here comes Huff down the inside. That'll become the outside. Can the number 19 of Ingram hold it round? Oh. There's a little bit of contact door to door between the two Mustangs. You can just see how hard they are fighting the wheels of these Mustangs. It's so tight at the moment. And, of course, they're both touring car champions in BTCC and Rob Huff in the World Touring Car Championship. So they'll be used to rubbing doors, bashing wheels, knocking in the, the wing mirrors. And uh, Rob Huff's going to have a little look. Is he down in the inside of Woodcut? Thinks better of it, but he's going to continue to hustle, kicking up some grass there. Thankfully, just missing our camera. Tom has it covered, though, going into the chicane. World champion, saloon car champion, going battle and going toe to toe in battle for these positions it's andrew jordan who leads from darren turner then comes gordon shed and then it's alex brundle the top four then it's timo bernhardt rounds out the top five then comes taylor in sixth. hill is seven followed by frank Eaty. then it's ingram and rob huff in ninth and tenth that's the battle we are currently watching at the moment it's ingram in front of huff but huff is wringing the neck and he is not giving up without a fight almost dipping a wheel onto the grass trying to extract the absolute maximum from his mustang and we've seen some drives in previous years from tom ingram who has knows where to place a car when he needs to uh, to keep the car behind but he's had a little bit of a wobble all up the hill there into levant but still somehow a puff of the inside wheel there still somehow manages to get the car under control get it stopped and look at this you're constantly fighting the wheel it's a workout in itself who needs to go to the gym when you can get behind a, a wheel of a mustang here around goodwood as the uh, tom is covering the inside there as they're heading down this very long, slight uphill straight, is Rob Huff gonna brave it round the outside? Who's latest on the brakes? It looks like it could be Rob Huff. Tom Ingram kicking up some grass. Let's have a look how they are the efforts and a great move by Rob Huff, who sails past Tom Ingram round the outside of Woodcut. Into the chicane and out of the exit, Rob Huff emerges on top. The 2012 World Touring Car Champion getting the better of the 2022 British Touring Car Champion. Tom Ingram in the 19 had to take the tighter line, clouted a bit of the inside, curving in the grass. Huff with way more momentum round the outside. That was enough to get the deal done. And three went That's up Shedden. into ninth. And I think it might be. Is it the 116? It will be Gordon Shedden coming to a halt. Is it a mechanical issue? He's pulled right off the line. Shedden, who was in third place in this race, that's going to promote Br uh, Brundle up into the podium places. We'll see if we can uh, get a shot of how that happened. But 28 laps run, two and a half minutes remain. And there is the stricken 166 Mustang of Gordon Shedden who gets out of the car and walks away out of this race and out of a podium position in the Kent Miles Cup. It's Andrew Jordan who leads the way in the 49 Mustang. 1.8 seconds the gap. Then comes Darren Turner in second. It was Gordon Shedden. He's now out of this race. That promotes Alex Brundle in the number 10 Mustang up at the third that is your podium placings for the time being and wherever you look now continue it's Matt Neal around down. the outside yeah I was gonna say Matt Neal is having a little look we've got the number seven car as well which is the Farley and Sofa car so it's a battle down in 13th place but it continues and going back to the shedding car it did look like I'm guessing a mechanical because it sounded like uh, there wasn't much uh, engine power engine sound or noise from uh, the shedding car which is obviously devastating for them 
bit of traffic as well having to be uh, negotiated for our front runners. The 45 of Matt Neal now currently down in 14, having lost out uh, to Shepard in 13. And that's what's going on just outside of the points. Rob Huff continues to make waves. He's now just behind Frankiti and looking to make a move. And then you've got the all yellow 99 Mustang of Taylor right there. This is the battle for sixth, seventh and eighth. The number six car is the one that contains uh, Dario Frankiti the multiple IndyCar champion Dario trying to hang it round the outside Rob Huff coming at it with all he's got Frank Keaty wringing the neck the rear end steps out of that Mustang Rob Huff tucks in behind tries to get a little bit of toe as they head up the hill through the slight left hand kink who's going to come out on top of this one Huff has got his elbows out and is ready to make the move Huff through on Frank Keaty gets the move done can he control it under braking yes he can, but Frankiti won't give this one up without a fight, but he has to settle behind as it's one by one through the chicane. Yeah, Huff charging on through. He's not going to have enough time, though, to gain too many more places as we head now on to the final lap of the race. It's Whitaker and Junior and the Jordan car still leading. And according to the timing screens here, Brundle now is up into second place. So what's happened to the Davison Turner car, unless it is an error on the timing screen, but uh, somewhere along the line, it come into difficulty has Darren Turner across the lap. So Brundle now up into P2. What a drive so far from David Brabham and Alex Brundle at the wheel of that Brundle Motorsport number 10 Mustang. Seven seconds adrift from our leader though, Andrew Jordan. Darren Turner in third. We're thinking, we're hearing Shepard in the uh, yellow, in a 47 car, sharing it. Uh, uh, well, Shepard's falling back actually. We're hearing that. Third falling back through the car. I think it's actually Timo Bernhard in that car, in the 47, which is uh, falling back with an issue. There's the 49 car. That is your leader, Andrew Jordan, who took over from Martin Whitaker, who did such a great stint at the beginning of this race, handed it over to Andrew Jordan, out of the chicane. The rear end steps out. You can see the fist out of the window. The winner of the Ken Miles Cup, it's Andrew Jordan and Martin Whitaker who take the win. And it looks like it will go the way of Alex Brundle as David Brabham, who gets second place to the line, will be in third. Just pits at the very end. It will be the Fed and Hill car, the number 66, Darren Turner, falling off the podium at the very end into four. Taylor Finn, Huff keeps in front of Frank Keaty in the top six. Frank Keaty seventh, Ingram eighth. Then it's Timo Bernhard with an issue right at the very end. Four fell down to ninth and to the line in tenth in the number 79 Mustang will be Marino Frankiti.